Hey, welcome to episode six. I'm Hunter Logan. This is Hunter Logan Unmiked. Now, I had been working on something called the Songwriter Shack. And I have been trying to figure out when and how this is going to work. So I took some old fence boards from the privacy fence that fell from the hurricane. And I cut them up and I made a nice backdrop with them on the back wall in the building. Found some windows at a um, kind of habitat for humanity type thing. Put those in the wall, fake windows. I mean, they're real windows, but, they're, you know, just nothing to them. Blacked them out and put a mailbox. Well, actually, I put the old mailbox from 410 North Main Street on, on the wall. Put a porch light on there. Uh, put some lighting across. Uh, hung up a fiddle and a cigar box guitar and just made it really neat. Uh, a good looking backdrop. So the backdrop was done, but we needed some lighting and we needed some sound as well. So what we done, I had my dad come in and help me. Now, keep in mind, when I say my dad, I'm talking about my stepdad. So anytime you hear me say dad from now on, it's going to be my stepdad who's my dad. Okay. I want you to know that just so you'll know. So he came and we hung the speakers from the ceiling. We hung the EVs I had, uh, 15 and a horn, two of them. And we hung them from the ceiling, facing down to the artists there so they could hear great. Left no monitors on the floor, so it cleared that up. And then everything was wireless. I had wireless mics. I already had direct boxes ran. Um, it was just cool. It was a great setup. And my plan for this was since I'm doing uh, music now myself, writing songs and stuff, was to have songwriters come in. And I was going to do the show with them. And I wanted to tape this for the YouTube channel, possibly Roku, if we could ever get a Roku channel. That has been on hold forever, the Roku channel. We're just having problems getting it. So I got it all done. Songwriter Shack looking good. And I scheduled a Songwriter Shack for Christmas. Trevor Bohannon, Nathan Arino, Butch Tinker, and Freddie Pate. And I'm thinking, hmm, well, this could be the start of something. And they did a phenomenal job. And it looked great. And it sounded great. So the Songwriter Shack was a success. I mean, we had a great setup. We had even set cameras up with the lights and speakers all suspended from the ceiling. So I was really excited to start doing that songwriter shack. Now, keep in mind, I built that songwriter shack. I probably started on it four or five months earlier. I can't remember exactly when, but it was four or five months earlier that I started building that thing. And finally got it going like I thought it needed to be. I was very pleased. So much so that I scheduled one for january of 2023 back january 2023 was going to be a big deal really was so as we close out december 2022 with the songwriter shack and the christmas event of course i do the year in recap recap everything In january 2023 i preached the first sermon of the year at our church that was an honor. I also opened up the record label again that I've been having. And I haven't released anything on that since the Swamp Pop days, which had been years. But I held the label open because I knew we would release, we would release some Christian music on it eventually. So the label's open now. We're releasing, and we got six releases going out on it for January. And I'm like, wow. So the record label's back open. We got releases going out. We got a songwriter shack scheduled. It's going to be me and Branded, right? Now remember, I said back in November, Matthew 6.33, we're going to seek the kingdom of God above all else 
and live righteously and he will give us everything you need. And I said, I don't know exactly what that looks like. I don't know exactly what that looks like, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to intentionally, I'm going to intentionally start seeking the kingdom of God. That's what I said. And that's what I did. And that's what I was doing. And you can see how things are starting out in January. So we have the songwriter shack on the 19th of January. It's Thursday night. I say my goodbyes to Brandon. And as I'm going home, I'm getting a call. My wife's on her way in the ambulance to the emergency room. She can't walk. She was wobbly when she came earlier. She's like, I don't know what's going on. Things are just going nuts. I can't. I'm just walking wonky. It's Friday morning. We're at the, the doctor. They, they sent us home. It's in a wheelchair. She can't, she can't walk. They sent us to Lafayette. She's there, and they admit her. First, it started with her foot on her left leg. We completely no feeling all the way up her leg to her hip. Then it started on the other side. Same thing. She became paralyzed from the waist down, paralyzed. And her arm, her right arm, all the way down to her fingers. She had no movement. She, she was paralyzed. And running every test they can. They can't figure out what's going on. She is seven days in this hospital. MRIs, CAT scans, taking spinal fluid out, everything they can think of, trying to figure out what's going on. Finally, one figures out, say, I believe you have transverse myelitis. For those of you who don't know what transverse myelitis is, it's legions of the spine. MS is legions of the brain. Transverse myelitis is legions of the spine. Now, and through all of these tests, they find out that C3 and C4 is pressing in to her spinal cord and cutting off the fluid. So she's going to have to have surgery. But she cannot have neck surgery until... The transverse myelitis is gone until the swelling is gone off her spine. Well, how long does that take? Well, the, the treatment is steroids, high doses of steroids and therapy. And this is what the doctors tell you. Well, in about three months, it'll go away for most people and you won't even know you had it. You'll be back to normal. Then some people have little lingering effects and then, then some people have the effects where it never gets better and it just stays like it is. Now, transverse myelitis is so rare that only 1,400 people, that's right, that only 1,400 people a year get that in the world. 1,400. 1,400 people in the world get that a year. That's how rare this disease is. Now, I'm doing this podcast December the 13th, 2023. I don't know when it's going to air. As of today, she is still with a walker, still doing therapy. She still has to use a wheelchair from time to time. She has not regained feeling in her legs and her feet. She's still fighting this since January 19th. Matthew 6.33, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Folks, when you boldly declare what you're going to do for the Lord, be ready. Be ready. Because in the upcoming podcast, I'm going to tell you about some of the stuff. Because I had never been a caretaker before. Learning how to be a caregiver. It, listen, everything has changed from this point on. Everything I knew from December the 19th, everything I did, everything I knew to do, my routine got totally turned around totally upset, totally just messed up, just messed up. And I got to find a new routine. I got to find a new way. I got to find some kind of way to get back to God. I ain't never left him. But the feeling of everything's laid out, man, well, I'm going to hold that. I'm going to wait. We'll talk about that in episode seven. We're going to talk about that. Because there's still things that got to happen. There's still a lot of things got to happen 
after she gets out the hospital. Because after spending a week in the hospital for them to figure that out, then she has to go stay a month in a rehab hospital before she can even think about coming home. So she's going to spend at least a month, if not more, in a rehab hospital, which she did. She spent a month in a rehab hospital after spending a week in the regular hospital where they diagnosed what she had. I'm going to leave right there for now. Next episode, I'm going to tell you about how God provides. When we come back in episode seven, I'm going to tell you how he gives you everything you need. When you seek the kingdom of God above all else and you live righteously. I'll tell you just how that scripture is true. Again, thanks for tuning in. Tell some folks about it. Go to HunterLogan.org. Check out my music. Tune in to HLE Radio. We got free apps there. Download it. The radio station needs your support. If you like what you hear on there, please consider supporting us. We need it. We are a nonprofit spreading the good news through song. And I'll see you next time. And remember Matthew 633.